One view of the position of the group is that Creodonta and Carnivora are sister taxa, but Creodonta is placed as a closer relative of pangolins. Studies on juvenile hyenodon specimens show that the animal had a very unusual system of tooth replacement. Juveniles took about four years to complete the final stage of eruption, implying a long adolescent phase. Typical of early carnivorous mammals, individuals of hyenodon had a very massive skull but only a small brain. Megistotherium is one of the largest hyenodontids known, the land that is now the Sahara was much more fertile in the Miocene. A considerable amount of it was grassland and rainfall was plentiful. Lakes and ponds provided water for large fauna, which provided Megistotherium and other predators with an ample supply of prey. Miyachi's species belong to the group of early carnivores that represent the ancestors of the modern order, the crown group Carnivora. It was well suited for an arboreal climbing lifestyle with needle-sharp claws, and had limbs and joints that resemble those of modern carnivorans. Miyakoids were mostly small carnivores superficially reminiscent of martens or civets. Amphicyon is believed to have been an omnivore but tends to eat more meat than plants or other foods. It is widely believed that it lived on its own unlike wolves. It was thought to target slow or injured large prey like the Calicotherium to feed its large appetite, its large body mass was too large to take faster prey. Cynodesmus was one of the first canids to truly look dog-like. The shape of its limbs suggests that it was not a very good runner compared to most other canids, it probably attacked prey from an ambush. Unlike modern dogs, it had five toes on each foot, bearing partially retractable claws. The route by which the Falkland Islands wolf was established in the islands was unknown for a long time, as the islands have never been connected to the mainland. However, an Ice Age land bridge between the islands and South America, enabling the species' ancestors to traverse the gap, has long been suggested. Its closest living relative is the maned wolf. Unlike other large canids, the maned wolf does not form packs. It hunts alone, usually between sundown and midnight. The maned wolf participates in symbiotic relationships. It contributes to the propagation and dissemination of the plants on which it feeds, through excretion. Bush dogs appear to be the most gregarious South American canid species. They use hollow logs and cavities such as armadillo burrows for shelter. In spite of its extensive range, it is very rare in most areas. The African wild dog is a highly social animal, living in packs with separate dominance hierarchies for males and females. Uniquely among social carnivores, the females rather than the males scatter from the natal pack once sexually mature and the young are allowed to feed first on carcasses. The species is a specialized diurnal hunter of antelopes, which it catches by chasing them to exhaustion. Lions dominate African wild dogs and are a major source of mortality for both adults and pups. Dire wolf went extinct during the Quaternary along with most of the American megafauna, that occurred soon after the appearance of humans in the New World. Its reliance on megaherbivores has been proposed as the cause of its extinction. Unlike most large canids, which are widespread, generalist feeders, the Ethiopian wolf is a highly specialized feeder of Afroalpine rodents with very specific habitat requirements. It is one of the world's rarest canids, and Africa's most endangered carnivore. Coyote fills much of the same ecological niche as the golden jackal does in Eurasia, though it is larger and more predatory. 
The species is versatile, able to adapt to and expand into environments modified by humans. Unlike wolves, which have undergone an improvement of their public image, attitudes towards the coyote remain largely negative. The Japanese wolf is considered to be extinct as the last specimens were recorded at Higashi Yoshino village in January 23, 1905. Sightings of short-legged dog-like beasts, proposed to be the Japanese wolf, have been claimed since the time of its extinction, but none of these have been verified. Hokkaido wolf is another extinct Japanese wolf that look like gray wolf, its nearest relatives were the wolves of North America rather than Asia. It was exterminated in Hokkaido during the Meiji Restoration period, when American-style agricultural reforms incorporated the use of strychnine-laced baits to kill livestock predators. The earliest known dingo fossil dates to 3,500 years ago which led to the presumption that dingoes came to Australia with seafarers prior to that time. Some researchers propose that the dingo caused the extinction of the thylacine because of the correlation in space and time with the dingo's arrival. The Arctic wolf is relatively unafraid of people and can be coaxed to approach people in some areas. Very little is known about the movement of the Arctic wolves, mainly due to climate. The only time at which the wolf migrates is during the wintertime when there is complete darkness for 24 hours. Eurasian wolf was once widespread throughout Eurasia prior to the Middle Ages. Aside from an extensive paleontological record, Indo-European languages typically have several words for wolf, thus attesting to the animal's abundance and cultural significance. The extermination of Northern Europe's wolves first became an organized effort during the Middle Ages and continued until the late 1800s. The raccoon dog is named for its superficial resemblance to the raccoon, to which it is not closely related. Native East Asia raccoon dog populations have declined in recent years due to hunting, fur, urbanization, the increase of animals associated with human and diseases that may be transmitted between them. A fennec fox's typical den is dug in sand, either in open areas or places sheltered by plants with stable sand dunes considered to be their ideal habitat. Its most distinctive feature is its unusually large ears, which also serve to dissipate heat. It is the smallest species of canid. Also, its hearing is sensitive enough to hear prey moving underground. Red Fox Range has increased alongside human expansion, having been introduced to Australia, where it is considered harmful to native mammals and bird populations. The Red Fox represents a more progressive form in the direction of carnivora. Apart from its large size, the Red Fox is distinguished from other fox species by its ability to adapt quickly to new environments. Arctic fox is well adapted to living in cold environments, and is best known for its thick, warm fur that is also used as camouflage. On average, they only live three to four years in the wild. Arctic foxes form monogamous pairs during the breeding season and they stay together to raise their young in complex underground dens. Tibetan foxes are mostly solitary, daytime hunters as their main prey, pikas, are diurnal, they may form commensal relationships with brown bears during hunts for pikas. The bears dig out the pikas, and the foxes grab them when they escape the bears. <laughs> 